Hello, thanks for being with us today on a brand new edition of Electric TV. I'm your host, Dominic Giratano. History rarely comes alive. For most of us, it was a subject in a boring school day, sandwiched between recess and algebra. It didn't matter much to us as kids, and in this day and age, history often takes a back seat to what's happening now. But the USS Midway Museum, a floating piece of Americana in the San Diego Bay, history is something real. You can touch the hull, smell the sea air, and feel the history of the ship's 50 years at sea. Sometimes, history needs a helping hand to keep the memory thriving. Some of the electrical on the ship is original. Some of it is outdated. And the million-plus visitors a year are increasingly putting more of a strain on those electrical systems. Enter the NECA IBEW team. Their work on the USS Midway Museum is ensuring the past lives on and that generations of Americans never forget the sacrifice that countless men and women have made in defense of the greatest country in the world. The USS Midway was in service from 1945 to 2003 and saw action in Korea, Vietnam, and the first Iraq war. In 2003, the ship was transformed to a widely popular tourist attraction and museum, hosting groups of all sizes, both during the day and at night. Over the last 10 years, exhibits and attractions have changed. So too have the ship's power needs. As such, a series of improvements are underway to get this piece of history into the 21st century. Because we're opening a new theater on board, it's gonna require us to uh, expand our higher capabilities for the new theater. Also, we're, we're building our air conditioning system, our HVAC system, which also is gonna require more power. We looked at the expansion uh, electrically, and we had to go out and find a company that had our sensitivities in mind, and uh, we ended up choosing Southern, and uh, it's been working out great so far. The Midway has over 250 events a year, and they have not been able to um, charge for the power that's been used for these events. We have separated the ship power and, and installed brand new entertainment power, which they will then be able to charge their customers whatever kilowatt hours are used per event and recapture the cost of that. You know, that's what the intent is for this. As for the details of the refurbishments, the NECA IBEW team brought their own set of solutions to the USS Midway owners and operators. It included providing additional power through cabling replacing the interface between the city power and the ship, and installing new switch gear. All custom work, of course. The biggest challenge for us was the ship-to-shore cable. As you can see, the cables go from the pier to the, to the ship. The cable weighs 10 pounds per foot. So when it's hanging in the air, and it's heavy, you have to be right on with what you're doing. You don't want it to drop in the water, obviously. So there, there was a lot of pre-thought on this. The challenges are, are, are many, and uh, again, that's why we chose Southern, uh, because uh, working on board a ship is unlike working in a typical building. So there's unique uh, challenges uh, involved with getting through uh, bulkheads that are on this vintage uh, World War II vessel. Uh, you could have areas of wall thickness up to two inches uh, of steel. Uh, we have to find a way to get through that, uh, those items, and uh, we've come up to with some pretty uh, ingenious uh, processes to, to run our cable and ducting uh, uh, through those areas and, and maintain uh, the aesthetic uh, uh, beauty of, of the ship itself. The superior training of NECA and the IBEW has ensured this job has gone off without a hitch. For the men and women who are working on this project, the USS Midway stands as an example of the ingenuity of the American spirit. The exceptional work they perform is no less than the ship and her former crew members deserve. We need a vehicle that's going to express uh, and, and show the general public uh, uh, what we stand for uh, in, in America. It's a special job. It's, it's great communicating that with, uh, with our local guests here and our guests throughout the world. And uh, the Southern crew has been over backwards for us. I'm going to keep them. <laughs> the USS Midway is home to more than 29 restored aircraft, but the systems for its tourist mission are nearly as complex as those it had when it was at sea. The NECA IBEW team is honored to call it just another one of our electricians' offices around the country. Thanks for being with us today on this edition of Electric TV. Have you checked us out on Facebook? It's easy. Facebook.com backslash Electric TV Online. We're also on Twitter. 
at Electric TV. Until next time, I'm Dominic Giratano. We'll see you then.